It's real easy to get a Chromebook to reprovision. First, just turn it off. Now would be a good time to push that button. And then when you turn it back on, you want to press the escape key, the refresh key, and the power key all at the same time. Then wait for it to turn itself on. It might take a second. Ah, uh, here we go. And yep, there's that nasty little message, the recovery USB stick and SD card. Ignore that. That's easy to fix. Just do the control, the alt, and the D key all at the same time. Watch what happens. Ta-da! Brand new message. Now it's easy. Um, basically, all you have to do is press the enter key. Wait for it. Press the space bar. And it comes up with a new message. And it wants you to press the enter key again. So press the enter key again. And ta-da, it's going to reboot itself. Go take a 10 second break and see your Chromebook ready to roll. Now it's time to do just the normal things. Pick your network, continue when it's ready. Eh, accept all the terms. I've read it a million times. And ta-da, uh, please wait. Yes! Okay, this is the part where people usually make their mistakes. You don't want to start signing in yet. You want to provision this thing to your Google account. You want to press the Control, the Alt, and the E key all at the same time. So I'll press those. Watch what happens. It goes into the Enterprise Enrollment screen. This is where you enter the user ID for your Google account that you're going to provision your Chromebooks into and your password. There's my Google account sitting right there. After you've entered the information for your user ID and your password, it should pop up and tell you that you've been successfully enrolled into the enterprise management for your Google account. Okay, what I usually do is I look on the bottom of my Chromebook and I look to see what the serial number is. Okay, this one, okay, this one as it turns out, ends in TVOQ. So, let me see here. Let's refresh the screen. Do an F5. Ching, ching. And then, ta-da, the one that I just provisioned is now inside my Google account. Now I can manage it however I want. What do you think? That was easy.